Hey guys, welcome to Living In My Now. And yes, my hair looks crazy because I am gonna try this product that I used to use when I had a relaxer in my hair. I am, <laughs> I don't know if you could see this very well. But anyway, it is the Keratin Protein by the, I don't know if I'm saying this right, the Hask brand. And I tried their shampoo and conditioner and it dried out my natural hair, so I will not be using that. If it works for you, phantasm. But I haven't used this since I had a relaxer, so I'm just gonna give it a try. My hair is freshly washed, that's why I parted in sections, because it just makes my life easier. <laughs> I have three packs here. So I'm gonna see if this works. Um, I washed my hair with my Carolyn's daughter and I'm gonna see how this works. So I will let you know. I am supposed to work this. Um, I forgot to take my ring off. Um, I'm supposed to do it once, twice a week. I'm not doing that at the moment. I wanna see how this feels in my hair. So apply a generous amount of deep conditioner to clean wet hair. Yes, I'm gonna do that massage into hair, focusing on the damaged areas. How are you supposed to know which area is damaged? I don't know. Um, leave it in for 10 minutes, rinse it well, and then style as usual. So I will do that and I will let you know how it works out and how it feels. I'm just, there is no, well, I'll show you how I'm gonna do this. It's it's not that big of a deal. I always wind up leaving soap in my hair. Okay, leave a comment below and leave a like if you leave soap in your hair. I do not wash my hair in the shower because it takes too long to um, wash and condition my hair. So, and then, yeah. It's just a big complicated process. So I wash it in the kitchen sink and then I put the conditioner in it and then I rinse the conditioner out in the shower. So like I said, leave a like, leave a comment if you do that. But basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a lot of it and just run it through. And of course I'm gonna separate it, but that's like the initial whatever. Going on initially, oh man. It smells super sweet. <laughs> Blah. Yeah, the smell's a little overwhelming. It smells good, but I have a sensitivity to smells. So if you have a sensitivity to smells, this might not be the best thing for you to put your hair. Whew. Struggle, struggle, struggle. Yep. And just my hair is already tangled. That's why also why I put it in sections and just run it through. Massage it through. I mean, it feels okay. It, it feels okay. The real test is when I rinse it out in the shower. And I'll leave it on for 10 minutes. Um, I do have a review of that Egyptian um, main choice deep conditioner, which I'm not going to reveal that yet. You have to watch the video. And if that comes out before this one, I will link that below. But I mean, for the most part, it feels, it feels good. I mean, it feels good. It's people like slip, whatever. Um, yeah, so and it feels good. The smell is just really strong. It's super super sweet and it's very loud But I'll rinse it out Now let's know what I think I am completely shook those three packs Only use two One for one half and one for the other half of my head like maybe I'm like underestimating but I have a lot of hair so for me to have as much hair as I do and to only have to use two packs, and my hair is pretty well saturated with this stuff. Good job, Hask. Good job. So I'm gonna sit this on my hair for 10 minutes and then I'm gonna rinse it out and just let you know how my hair feels and different things like that. So see you when I rinse it out. My face just say it all. I mean, <sighs> I don't know. It feels like I washed it instead. Like, no. I don't know. I mean, it feels conditioned, but at the same time, like, my curls aren't as defined. And like I said, maybe it's just meant for straight hair, but yeah, my curls are nowhere near defined as they normally are. And it just, I don't know. It feels moisturized, but it doesn't, it also feels stripped, if that makes sense. Like, I, I don't know. Let me know if I should give it a second chance. I don't know. I just feel some type of way. I mean, as I was running my fingers through it, like finger detangling as I was rinsing it out, like some of my hair got tangled. See, with my other conditioner, like it doesn't do that. So 
I don't know. You be the judge if it's any good. But I will show you my Bantu knots and I'm done because I'm going to use my black castor oil, which I don't use often in my hair anymore. I'm going to do this the Making Black Castor Oil Strength and Restore Leave-In Conditioner by Shea Moisture, which I don't use all their products either because that dries out my hair too. Then I'm going to use as I am curling jelly. Now I also I use that at the ends of my hair, and then I'm going to use this uh, dark and lovely natural hair butter. And I'll let you see my bantu knots when I'm done. Because I'm going to do, I'm going to link her video below. Viv Hair Therapy, I really like her. So I'm going to link the look that I'm trying to get so you can watch her whole video and she can explain it all to you. So I'll be back with the finished product. So this is the final product. I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, there's shadows galore. Okay. Um, so I don't know how I feel about this. Uh, I only had like that, you know, the real old 90s hairstyle where you had like hair down in the back. You had a couple of these at the top. And you had like the bangs and it was like super cute. But I don't know how I feel about having it all over my head. I have leave-in conditioner everywhere because I put too much. I'm not a hair guru, okay? Okay, don't at me because <laughs> I'm not a hair person. <laughs> But this is not my final form. I, I, I'm actually going to take these down like BB Hair Therapy did. And it's going to make these really cute curls. I'm going to post a picture on my Instagram, living in my now 17, if you want to see the finished product. And also, I'm also going to post it on Facebook, which is just living in my now. So if you want to see the final product, you have to tune in there. But that's my um, opinion on that Haas deep conditioner i might try it again but yeah it made my hair feel like really dry and weird like when i put the deep conditioner in it the other deep conditioner <laughs> it felt fine my hair felt fine so i don't know i might try one more time let me know what you guys think let me know if you tried it with natural hair or just your regular hair and what you thought about it but otherwise i will see you guys later bye